Hey Micah, last lesson we started talking about chromatic scale and chromatic notes, the notes that are between the natural notes. And I gave you a fingering chart to work off of and a little visual of a piano. Um, but since we had a lesson and things can tend to get foggy, I wanted to make a video for you so it's really easy for you to go back and watch and, and uh, see if there's anything you forget. So the way this works, if you look at your visual, is we have a scale of letter names that goes up, right? We have C, D, E, F, G, A, and then B and C, right? Um, down at the bottom. And that just repeats over and over again throughout the whole keyboard, you know that. And if you look at the visual uh, of the piano, there are usually black keys that come between the white notes, right? Um, there are keys between all the notes except for two pairs of notes. Uh, so that makes five black keys and seven white keys. So we already named our seven naturals, but uh, if you look, there are more than, there are more than five spaces, spaces between those notes. So uh, knowing where those other spaces occur is something we kind of have to, to have to think about. So this means most of the time the note between two white keys is gonna use the same note as uh, the same name of the note below it and above it. So if you have, you know, these three notes, a white key, a white key, and a black key, this guy is gonna get the name of both notes on either side of it. The sharp is uh, meaning above, above the note whatever. So say we have two notes like uh, F and G, okay? So here's an F, here's a G. And you learned F sharp last time. It's the time is the note in between, right? Directly above the F. The other name for it would be a G flat because, of course, it's below the G. Okay. So I wanted to give you three examples of this, and then three curveball questions because there's that instance where they don't we don't have a black key between the white notes, and it's a little a little bit less clear what to do there. Okay. So example one, I'm gonna ask. The black key between A and B would be called, and you can pause the video and think about it. It's gonna have two names to it. Between A and B, it's gonna be called a something sharp and a something flat. Okay, second question. The key between C and D, it's gonna have two names, a sharp name and a flat name. Sharp meaning up, flat meaning down. And then finally, example three, the black key between F and G. We just did this one. Okay, so for the first example, it's A sharp and B flat. A sharp and B flat are in fact the same note. For the second example, it's uh, C sharp and D sharp. Uh, it's C sharp and D flat. C sharp and D flat are the same note. And then finally, between F and G, we know we have F sharp, okay? So for those two pesky places where there is no black key, the two spaces where there are no black key are uh, E and F and B and C. There's nothing between those notes, okay? The rule remains the same. A note above any pitch that has the same name with a sharp, meaning up, uh, a note below has the same name, but with a flat, meaning below, okay? So if I have uh, two white notes right next to each other, and you say below this one, it's gonna be this note flatted, even if it's a, a natural name. This can be a little strange, um, but the, the note will, the correct name of it will be a, a sharp name and a normal name, or a flat name and a normal name. It's just a little bit weird, okay? So here are a couple examples of that. What are the two names for the note below C? It's gonna be a C flat, because it's C and one flip note down, but we also know it as B natural, right? Because it's just the next white key down, okay? So uh, next example, what are the two names for the note above E? You have E here, what is this note right above? Of course we know it is F natural, but it's also E sharp. 
because it's right above, right? And then the last one, what are the two names for the note below F? Below F. F is here, we have a white key here, which is E. The other name for E coming from F would be F flat, F flat, okay? So you told me last lesson that we have 12 notes correctly, right? Five black keys, seven white keys, um, and all their various different names. Most of them have uh, more than one name. Last lesson, uh, we learned a new note. We learned the, the F sharp fingering, right? Which is just your first finger, and you can see it on the fingering chart there. And uh, that gives you a range in which you know all of the notes between E and G. So when you go up, you go E, F natural, F sharp, G. That's all the notes in between those two, okay? We're gonna widen that up, and now you're gonna learn the note above G. Can you think of what the note would be above G? It's in between G and A, which I think, uh, no, we didn't talk about that yet. In between A and G. So we have the note here, G is here, A is here, the guy in between. It's gonna be G sharp and A flat, okay? And that's the note right above G, right? like I said. Um, the way you finger it is just this little key. Okay, we know this key is the A key, um, and we know open with no finger over the hole is a G, right? So it's kind of like you go bump, bump, bump. You kind of walk up the instrument, right? Here's a G sharp in, in between. So G, A, and then in between. Now, you know all the notes between A and E now with the F sharp and the G sharp in there. I'm gonna show you one more note, um, and I want you to tell me what note would be above A, above A. And it's also uh, the next letter note name would be a B. So it's between A and B. It's gonna be A sharp or B flat, either way, okay? And uh, like I said before, when you're just kind of walking up here, you get to this point, and you actually have one key that opens up higher than that one, is this guy back here. So if you press this thumb key while you're holding the A key, you'll get a B, a B flat, okay? So I'm gonna walk from G natural, G sharp, A to B flat, or A sharp, either way. So reviewing, our sharps as we know them right now are F sharp, just the first finger, G sharp on the side, and then you have the B flat key or A sharp key back here while you're holding the A. Okay, your homework is to learn these fingerings and be able to play a chromatic scale through these notes. So you're gonna go from E up to B flat and then back to E, okay? Just like this. as high as you can go without going to the next register, which is something the, uh, the older kids are now dealing with this. Where you can go higher. You are gonna be working your way lower from this point. And we're gonna get all 
all the notes in between eventually. Okay? Happy practicing. I look forward to seeing your chromatic scale video. Have a good week.